Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24-7 Techie and in this video I'm going to show you guys the U Eureka running on Android 5.1.1 Tesla OS. Yes guys, this ROM is named as Tesla OS. So as you can see, it is Android 5.1.1. Device is double five zero one zero or tomato, just like bacon for one plus one. So this is an official ROM, not a unofficial port or something like that. So we do get regular updates for this ROM. We don't have nightly update, but we do have regular updates uh, for weekly updates like that. And the ROM is running pretty good. I have been having this ROM on my device for more than a week now, and it has been performing very fine. So in this video, I will be showing you guys some of the features that uh, the ROM offers and it will be up to you what you think about the ROM or you should try it out or not I have been having this ROM for a while it has been performing well and the rest is up to you as you can see I have not applied any theme on this but the theme which it comes with is this the system default which they have applied and the background looks good in the uh, settings so I have already tweaked the ROM a little bit for uh, my liking and I will be showing you guys what all I have done and uh, what all you can do so we will first of all we will go into the Tesla settings and the first thing we have is buttons so we do have the option of using on-screen buttons or off-screen buttons. I, I usually like the on-screen buttons, so I will be using the on-screen buttons. You can even edit the on-screen on buttons. We don't have a power button or notification down button in this, but still we do have option of uh, editing those is good. Everything else is basic. And the next option is just gesture, gesture anywhere, so if we enable it, and do this we can add gestures and, uh, and assign it any app and it will run I don't really use it so I won't be enabling it so lock screen in the lock screen uh, settings we what we can do is we can add the weather to the lock screen we have already seen this in, in a couple of other ROMs also for oneplus and even for Eureka that I found so in this way we can see in the lock screen the weather is added which looks good the notification drawer there is only smart pull down that is new everything else is uh, basic Notifications is basic, status bar, we can edit uh, the clock and everything, I have edited it and as you can see we do have the option of circle, circle battery indicator and we also do have an, uh, we also do have an option of getting greeting when we uh, unlock the phone like I will show you. So the moment we unlock the phone, we do have a greeting over here, that's good that's something personalization that you can do with your phone and traffic indicator the, the thing that uh, sign engine stock misses I really miss this feature because I'm used of uh, knowing how much speed am I getting and how much upload speed am I getting so we do have animation controls also in this we can even have uh, right now it's uh, set to default animation we can edit it uh, to anything so most of this stuff is almost basic I've gone through everything and these were just some customization that which offers but uh, one of the best thing is that uh, I've already shown you this feature in Android 5.1.1 uh, nightly's update video that the heating issue on the 1.1 has gone I booted this ROM, I installed it, I booted it, I did everything I also ran it through some pressure test and the heating is not uh, visible that's a good uh, sign that uh, you has done I will be showing you guys the NT2 benchmark. Do you remember? We did the NT2 benchmark on the 5.1.1 nightly's video also, and we got a score of 38,099. I will be leaving the link to that video in the description. You can check that out also, and we will be running the NT2 benchmark on this ROM as well.
So guys, as we can see, the score has been 36,563. So the score is pretty low, which I got earlier on. Earlier on, I got 38,900. So the score is fluctuating. I really don't know why, but we can still get an idea that the ROM has been the ROM is performing well, and it is taking the Eureka to its limits. And without any heating, I've run, I've ran the benchmark, and the heating isn't present. And guys, one more thing, uh, I noticed that uh, in many ROMs uh, we don't get wallpapers or anything, but this ROM has supplied us a couple of good wallpapers. Most of them are nature, uh, nature things like uh, flowers and everything. One of them is this, this, and this also looks good. And this is just the Tesla. So I'm right now sticking the default one. So guys, in my opinion, if you are thinking about uh, having putting a custom ROM on your Eureka, you should try this ROM uh, instead of CM12.1 nightly. As I find this ROM to be a bit more customizable and uh, a bit more user friendly, because 12.1 nightlies are usually this uh, the stock uh, CM12. We don't get customizations like uh, like putting the lock screen weather or even having the traffic indicator in our status bar. So in my personal opinion, go for this ROM. Check this out. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was Sharon here from 24-7 Techie showing you guys Tesla ROM on the U Eureka. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends and family. Anyone and everyone, do subscribe to the channel as I really need subscribers on my channel. I'm, uh, I'm trying to grow as a YouTuber and thank you for your support and everything. If you have any video request or uh, any feedback or anything, do contact me through Facebook, Twitter or even comment on the uh, videos and I will surely try to get uh, in touch with you. Thank you very much for coming and uh, I hope to see you in my next video.